Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku back, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. And welcome to part 3 to what if future Gohan went back in time instead of future Trunks. So if you don't remember, we left off in part 2 where future Gohan and future Trunks both came in back into the main timeline and warned them of a villain named Black. Also guys, if you don't remember, Gohan beat Hit in the Universe 6 tournament, and yada yada yada, there's three Super Saiyan Blues, kind of like that. You know, there was a decent amount of stuff that changed, but not too much. So anyways guys, please leave a like if you do enjoy this video, comment down below saying what you want, subscribe if you are new, and then please turn on notifications. Also guys, if this video does hit 1000 likes, that guarantees a part four within the next one to two weeks so if you like this video and you want to see part four then leave a like and also if you do want to see part four turn on notifications because then you'll see it right away so we left off where future Gohan was laying unconscious in the main timeline just like how future trunks was is in dragon ball super future Gohan wakes up and he sees his father standing over him Gohan freaks out and lunges towards his father and tries to punch goku but goku just blocks it with ease dad gohan mutters what are you doing back here, Gohan? Is there something wrong in your timeline? Dad, I'm sorry I tried to hit you. You won't believe what has happened. We were almost done rebuilding the world. I had wished almost everyone back with the Namek Dragon Balls. And then, well, you showed up. You killed everyone. You destroyed the cities. You ruined everything that we worked so hard to rebuild. Me? It, it was me? Well, I, I don't know. He, he looked exactly like you. But his key definitely felt different than yours. It was weird, like I could feel the pressure. He was just pure evil though. He killed nearly all of us. Trunks and I tried to stop him. We had him on the ropes the first time, but he just kept getting more and more powerful each time we fought him. He eventually overpowered the both of us, but he has still decided to spare us. And he has spared us, he has spared our lives several times. It was like he was just using us to get stronger. So we get on the time machine and we left seeking your help. But he was just so strong I don't even know if you guys could stop him. Well, son, how about we go for a spar, and then you can tell me if, we, if you think we can help you or not. No, father, President Gohan intervenes. I am much stronger than you. It'd be best if he sparred with me. Well, Gohan, I guess you're right. Go ahead and fight yourself. Just don't hurt yourself. This is where we get to see a future Gohan versus present Gohan sparring match, similar to the style of Goku versus future Trunk. Right off the bat, Future Gohan goes full power as a Super Saiyan 3. He wants to be sure to go all out to see if his younger self has a shot against Goku Black. Everyone was quite surprised to see Future Gohan go Super Saiyan 3, and Goku was even proud of his son. This Future Gohan would be far more powerful than the Trunks that was in Super. After a bit of sparring, Gohan would go into his ultimate form, and he'd be able to easily beat the Super Saiyan 3 Future Gohan, even though present Gohan was just suppressed. Can't believe how much stronger you have gotten in such a short time. It's been what, only 10 years? You should be more than enough to take out Black. Well, I did only use a small percentage of my power here, so I'm quite confident we can take out this Black guy. But it worries me when you say he was getting stronger just by fighting him. If we were to fight him, we would need to try and take him out quickly so he doesn't overpower us. After the sparring, they all get together and they eat. Some time passes, and then all of a sudden, a rift opens up in the sky. Everyone looks up and notices something isn't right. Out of the rift comes a mysterious black figure. The clouds around the rift dissipate and out comes Vegeta? Vegeta Black? Future Gohan and Trunks, they're really shocked. Future Trunks trembles to his knees. Father? Um, Gohan, are you sure it was me in the future and not Vegeta? Or Father, I know for a fact it was you. I have zero uncertainty. Vegeta gets really pissed off. How dare you mock me? Pretending to be me? I am the true Vegeta. Vegeta transforms into Super Saiyan Blue immediately and flies towards Vegeta Black. Future Gohan and Future Trunks are shocked by Vegeta's blue transformation. But but blue they said? President Gohan says, there is some more explaining to do once we are finished. Vegeta Blue is absolutely outclassing Vegeta Black. He has no chance. Then, out of nowhere, another rift opens in the sky. Vegeta stops his beatdown of himself to see what is going on. I have a bad feeling about this, Gohan says. Out comes another black figure. This time, it is Goku Black. See, I told you that it was really him and not Vegeta. Kakarot, you finish me off. I'm going to finally get to kill you. Vegeta yells in a laugh. Vegeta is able to overwhelm Goku Black as well 
and Goku is able to continue to take out an already weakened Vegeta Black. After Goku and Vegeta have subdued themselves, they start to question them, and who they really are, and how they have their bodies. They don't answer right away, and right before Vegeta is going to finish them off, they are taken back into the rift and teleported back to the future. Goku and Vegeta are sort of shocked and pissed off. You guys should have finished them off when you could, because now they're going to be much stronger next time. I can't imagine them getting that much stronger though, I mean, they were quite weak, is what Goku and Vegeta says. Some time passes, as they need to wait for Bulma to get the time machine ready to go back. Gohan explains to Trunks and his future self about Beerus, Supreme Kai, Whis, Super Saiyan God, the different universes. Future Gohan and Trunks just have their minds blown. Really? Just a ritual to get that much stronger? Well, yeah, I guess, says present Gohan. Well, why don't we just do it on me? Then I can go help you guys fight them when we go back to my timeline. Well, I guess we could give it a shot. The Saiyans get together to try and perform the Super Saiyan God ritual onto future Gohan. They try it the first time, it doesn't work. Then they go and try it a second time, and it still doesn't work. Why isn't it working? I don't know why. It worked for me on the first try, so it should work for you as well. Oh well, it'd be best for you to come with us anyways, because you guys can just stay in this timeline after we defeat them. Well, we all shouldn't go. What if something goes wrong? What if all of us die? We, we can't have all of our fruit in, in one basket. Well, I guess future Trunks can stay here, and if something happens, then he can go into the chamber or train with Whis. But I, I really don't think we will have trouble. We outnumber them, and we're much stronger than them. But we do have fuel for the time machine, so a second trip to get Trunks back, it's not a big deal. So they grab some sensu beans and the four of them go into the time machine to head off to the future. They arrive in the timeline corrupted by Black, and they are horrified. There is barely anyone left alive on Earth. The cities are destroyed, and there are no signs left of the human resistance. Both of the Blacks immediately sense the keys, and they head off towards them. They meet each other, and then the two imposter Saiyans see that they are outnumbered. That doesn't start off as an issue at first though as Goku goes blue and starts to fight Vegeta Black, and Vegeta turns blue and rushes to fight Goku Black. Despite the power boost on both of the Blacks, Goku and Vegeta still overpower them. Eventually both Goku and Vegeta Black pause. They begin to power up and they both go Super Saiyan Rose. The Super Saiyan Rose transformation makes them extremely powerful and it shocks everyone. I told you guys to just finish them off fast or else they would keep getting much stronger yells future Gohan. Well, too late now. The new Super Saiyan Roses easily outmatch Goku and Vegeta. They are just pummeling both of the Saiyans. In sync with each other, both Goku and Vegeta Black hold out their hands as a pink energy sword emerges from it. They then use this to stab their opponent, nearly killing Goku and Vegeta as they both revert to their base forms and fall. Gohan then transforms into a Super Saiyan Blue and goes in to save Goku and Vegeta from dying. So Gohan is now taking on both Goku and Vegeta Black as Super Saiyan Rosés. Gohan is so strong though, that he's actually able to take both of them on at the same time, and he even seems to have an upper hand in the fight. Meanwhile, future Gohan collects Goku and Vegeta's bodies, and he's ruffling around for the sensu beans that they gave him. Both Vegeta and Goku Black, they're stunned. They don't know how Gohan was able to even keep up with them, let alone outmatch the both of them. They were obviously pissed off. We know Zamasu's on the inside of both of their bodies, and they hate mortals. It is time. Our last resort is now. Goku Black tells Vegeta Black. They both take off one earring, and they have them on opposite ears. Gohan, at this point, he doesn't know what is going on here because this is his first time hearing or even seeing of the Batari fusion. Then all of a sudden, a shock Gohan sees their bodies collide, and after a flash, there's just one figure standing there. It is Super Saiyan Rose, Vegito Black. Gohan knows he needs to go all out. He knows that Super Saiyan Rose Vegito Black is going to be really strong. So Gohan goes Ultimate Super Saiyan Blue. Despite being much stronger, he can hold his own against a suppressed Vegito Black, but Vegito Black is still able to overpower him eventually, and stabs Gohan repeatedly with his key sword. Vegito Black is kicked away in a flash. Vegito Black is, he's confused. He looks up and he sees a figure with an orange and black vest on. It was Gogeta. After healing from the Sensus, Goku and Vegeta quickly fuse to aid Gohan. Gogeta goes Super Saiyan Blue, and the battle of the two fusions begin. Goku and Vegeta had Zenkais after the Sensu Beans, bringing them to near equal to Vegito Black. They fight for a while, nearly equally. This would have been a really cool battle to see. Two different versions of fusions of Goku and Vegeta. One good, one evil. 
The clash would be similar to the clash of Goku when he first fought Beerus as a Super Saiyan God in Dragon Ball Super. It causes ripples throughout the universe. Mid-battle, Vegito Black is diffused. The time limit is up. This causes Gogeta to laugh hysterically. He is now much stronger than the two Saiyans when they were separated. Gogeta begins to beat down the two. He does it slowly, he takes great joy out of it. As we know, when Goku and Vegeta fuse, the character can be a bit cocky. So Gogeta has both the imposter Saiyans, and he could have killed them, but he's so cocky, he's just like showboating in front of them that he beat them. So Gogeta has the two imposter Saiyans laying on the ground right on top of each other. They can barely move, and they look up to meet their maker. Blue Gogeta has his hand out and is ready to obliterate the two with a key blast. That is when a purple key sword punctures into Gogeta's back and out of his chest. He reverts to his base form and mid fall to the ground is defused. A third Saiyan imposter has been introduced. Future Gohan is about to feed present Gohan the last Sensu Bean. Then the bean is incinerated out of his hand and so is the entire bag of the Sensu Beans, meaning there's none left. He looks up to see what had happened. Who did it? He sees his worst nightmare himself so stay tuned guys this was part three again like this video because if we get a thousand likes part four will be guaranteed in the next one to two weeks comment down below your thoughts give me ideas what i should do for part four subscribe if you are new and you enjoyed this video and do not forget to turn on notifications because you want to see part four right anyways guys i hope you have a great day peace out